Hello everybody, welcome back to more Enter the Gungeon. Thank you for your support across the series. My name is Raven from the Sky. Keep showing that love and I'll definitely keep cranking these videos out for you guys. Now with that being said, let's do... Thank you. Collect some more of those ammo, more shells, currency before I go back. What the heck is that thing? It's like a fireball of some sort. Thank you. Uh, we feel that. This is actually pretty devastating up close. Up close, that is. And I also have the laser rifle. Uh, let's see. Which way to go? Could use a key. How about that? Man wants to give me one of those. Ooh, it was corner. That was close. <laughs> Shot them into the abyss or into the spikes, whatever's down there. Uh, let's see. What's up here? Aha, but we need a key to open that. I think I can. Alright, I got enough to get one. Let's see. Let's head back. The better your weapons, the better chance of survival, especially when facing boss characters, let me tell you. You're welcome, my kind sir. Go ahead and pick this up. If it's even a weapon, it might be a item. Yeah. Itchy trigger finger. Rate of fire up. That'd be great because this is a semi-automatic. Or a burst fire, I mean. So that'd be even better. Alright, so let's head... Oh! Ah, I keep forgetting. I, I, I need to keep behind my health. So you think you slick, huh? Hiding behind that table. See ya. Ooh, armor. Is this? Of course it's locked. Cat dang it.
I waste the key on a freaking. Ah! Ah! But then we had that armor. So remember, we haven't faced the boss yet. Oh. Oh, thank God. Yeah, it's like, what is that thing? Oh, let's go back. And teleport there. I found that, and I think I found another chest that's locked. But this one, I, I want to see what's in this. Ho! Oh! BSG. Big shooty gun. Oh, um. Big shooty gun. It's a charged... Charge to clear rooms, a Gungeon classic and one of the first to be imported through the Gungeon Acquisitions Department. Uh, I'm sorry, I meant to scroll. Uh, the BSG's powerful blast will make short work of nearly any gun dead. How much ammo do we got in this thing? 25. I think I want to save this. Especially for the boss. Yeah, we're going to save that. Just got to remember it's a charged weapon. This chamber is a bit bigger than... The other ones we're used to. Um, entered here, so let's, let's see what's up here, shall we? You have got to be kidding with each character but it's it's not that simple gas mask breathe deep let's see passive items prevents poison damage useful and if terrifying piece of equipment uh, one size fits all okay that's pretty self-explanatory I probably didn't even have to open the journal to figure that out um, but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying this I know this series so far has been more of a um, What's that, a, uh, a death montage than anything, but, you know, like I said, I sound like a broken record at this point, but it's, it's, it's randomly generated. Even though it's the first chamber, the, the actual levels are never the same. It's never the same layout. But I myself would like to make it to chamber three, four, five, and so on. But it's just, it's too difficult with permadeath. That's why I said it's almost like a Souls title. And I am not a Souls player, homie. I mean, I'll do a walkthrough, but I won't sit up there and, like a completionist. If it gets too mundane and too loop-de-loop, -loop, then I'm done. That's, you know, I quit Lords of the Fallen. It's like 16 episodes if you guys want to check that out. It's like it's difficult for no reason. You know, I'm sorry, I'm not that much of a completionist. But I am enjoying Into the Gungeon, though. I ain't gonna lie. I guess your perception changes based on how well you enjoy the game. But, um... Right now, I'm just recording here in the dungeon, but I, I'm gonna record some other, uh... What's this? shoot 'em up style games as well. You know, I got a... I might... What's that? Uh, Metal Slug? Uh, Rise and Shine? I think I might air those this month, too, when I'm trying to record a handful of episodes first of this. And then uh, I'll do the other series and then come back to this. Try to spend too much time away from this and forget. Because that'll throw off you. You really need some good perception playing this. This is not as easy as I make it look. Clearly as how many times I've um, lost in this game. I digress. It's still fun. I still recommend you pick this up. Matter of fact, it might be... It seemed like it's fallen under the deal category a lot more lately. When I picked this up, it was... I think I paid the full twenty dollars, I think, or fifteen. Um, lately, it's been nine ninety nine, and you know, fourteen ninety nine, twelve ninety nine. It's been um, under deals, at least on the PlayStation marketplace. Has. I don't know about Microsoft. It is available for the Xbox One and PC as well off Steam. It's been out for about a year. year and a half I'm sorry came out spring of 2016 like late spring 
I don't know how long it's been out on the PC because sometimes games will hit Steam first and um, they'll hit consoles later. Uh. But I want to record at least 20 episodes of this before I decide whether or not I want to call it quits on it or not. But I, even if I do, I may come back to it because, like I said, simulation games like this don't end. They may, even if the story ends, you can still explore the dungeon because it's procedurally generated and still pick up loot you didn't pick up during the first playthrough so like I said I may come back to this like Skyrim but I'm not done with Skyrim I think I, I'm gonna finish up the Dawn Guard uh, DLC but I don't think I'm gonna do the Dragonborn I don't feel like playing it no more but I'm not gonna leave it half done sitting on my computer so I'm gonna finish that up and uh, air those episodes for you guys Oh, y'all see that? It's two merchants. What's that about? What? Oh, no. Both pathways lead. I see. That kind of threw me off. What is this? Bullet time. Uh, pick up a key. And no, you are down, sir. Bullet can. That's what they call themselves. Boom. Oh, I've noticed that too. Based on your performance in the whatever room you're in, you'll get a key or a heart. That's if you complete the room with no damage. I've kind of picked up on that. I didn't pick up on that first. All right, let's go through here. Uh, I'm going to try to complete this and defeat the boss for you guys before ending this episode. Try to, at least. Up! Ah! Whoa, that was close. How to keep... There we go. Yes! Ooh, an Uzi. <laughs> Machine pistol, which is basically an Uzi. Um, let's see here. The machine pistol is a small but powerful handheld machine gun. It is a favorite of bandana wearing gun dead whose impatience with reloading is legendary. Ah, yes. Okay. I'm going to save that for the boss. I don't want to use it all up. Do y'all know if that automatically kicks in your, uh... Yes, we're coming up on the boss now, your active items because i i've tr i don't know any buttons that are like i've tried and it doesn't work i've never seen anything activate except for the passive oh mr gatlin gold himself again there can only be one raven what don't you understand dude let's do it baby again Told you the bosses are the same, just in a different, uh... Huh, huh. He's not even... <laughs> got him, got him, got him! He's done, son. I told him he can only be one raven. I pick his tail up and get him out of here. Beehive. This is, what does that do? What does that do? I need to know. Oh, it's a gun. Shoots bees. A beehive is nature's gun. Give it a good shake and let the bullets fly. What? We've got to try that out before I finish the episode. 
See, I, you know what? That makes coming back to the first chain of all worlds. I've never picked up that gun. And I've... You've seen it. I've died a lot of times. Even... A, unless that's... That, that, and y'all haven't even seen the amount of times I've died. I've cut some of that out during the jump cuts. But anyway. I'm going to save it here. And we are going to stop it here. Thank you for joining me for this episode of... Enter the Gungeon. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you like this episode, do me a favor. Drop a like and subscribe to the channel and the series grow. And to join the flock, we the best flock in the sky on and on YouTube. I keep forgetting to mention that. Oh, well. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will take, I will catch you guys in the next episode. Take care.